Hey, John Cristani here, internet entrepreneur. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to block emails on Gmail. Now, I am a advanced Gmail user and I'm gonna be showing you four different ways that you can block and unsubscribe from emails, particularly using filters. Now, I'll be showing you how to not just unsubscribe from one list, but unsubscribe from any email list associated with a particular email address. There's some particularly hard ones to get rid of. I'll be showing you how to use dots and pluses to better sort your email. I'll show you how to auto forward emails to another email address if that's what you want. And I'll also be showing you a free way to use one of Gmail's features to make a lot of money just on autopilot. So I'll get onto all of those in just a second. Stay tuned. We're gonna be doing this all on my computer, let's have fun. Hey, John here, and I get a lot of email. I mean, I really get a lot of email, and it comes really annoying, and one of the things I've had a problem with is, you know, I'll get some important emails from like PayPal, for instance, and some that are just total spam, and how do you filter, and how do you sort all of those? I'll be addressing all of that right here. So let's take this person, for instance, Michael Hudson, and we can see that there is a way that we can unsubscribe from this person, right? He's so, trying to sell something. There's a few ways we can do this, right? Of course, we could click the unsubscribe button, but how many times have you unsubscribed from email list just to be emailed again by that person? Type in the comments below if, if it happened to you. Just type in it's happened to me because this happens to me all the time. It feels like I'm like, didn't I unsubscribe from that email list? And I get another email from them. And let me show you one of the reasons why. Now, as you see, this email is from Hudson Michael or something. But if we actually look up this domain right here that says Ekron, we'll see that we get emails from a number of different people there, from Elliot Michael and Hudson Michael and Paxton Elijah and Emmett Nicholas. They just keep creating new people to email us from. And the only real way to actually get rid of that, it's not unsubscribing from an email list because a company can have multiple email lists within that company, right? So it's it's kind of annoying, but the way around it is actually to take this Ekron line right here. And what we'll do is, well, we could click right here and we could say filter messages like this, click that, or we could click this drop down icon right here. I'm gonna click the drop down icon and I'm gonna filter emails that are from at Ekron Com. Now let's actually look to see what that works out. So that gets all of the people that have emailed us from ekron.com. Every one of these emails, even though they are from different people at ekron.com, will be blocked. And what we will do is we will click create filter and we will say skip the inbox, archive it. Or you could say just delete it. And also apply filter to all matching conversations right there. So I'll create filter and suddenly all of this will go away. So just refreshed, but basically none of those emails will ever show up to me ever again, even though I haven't unsubscribed from the list. So they can keep sending me emails as much as they want. And what's great about this is for people that are sending these emails you don't want, it actually hurts them even more because they're gonna keep sending emails and Google's gonna say, he deletes these emails automatically. That's a really bad mark for these people because this email providers say, these people are sending out emails to all these people and they just keep deleting them. That's not a good sign. We should probably downgrade this person and put them in the spam folder. So you're actually helping get rid of junk mail by setting up filters. Let me show you another neat trick right now. Now, another way I use filters is I actually look for keywords. So I'll, I'll go up here and I'll click this little button right there. And I get a lot of emails from people requesting money from me via PayPal. I get probably two a day of people saying, you know, their mom has cancer and they're their family's only son or they're they lost their arm in the uh, in the armed services or they got in a car accident. I get all sorts of messages from people every single day. That really sucks. That's kind of negative. And sometimes I'm like, you know, at dinner, like, or having a margarita, and I don't want to see somebody's like sob story of why they need $5,000 from me. 
<laughs> you know, and obviously I can't help everybody. I don't pay anybody. Please don't pay power money request me. But I don't want to miss emails from PayPal at the same time because there's some important stuff that comes there. So what I would do is I would just type in money request, right? I already have a filter set up for this. And anytime something comes in with the words, you know, PayPal money request, it is just automatically filtered. I don't want to see it. I don't care to hear the story. So call me an a-hole. And what I would do is I'd create a filter around that and I would just tell it to skip the inbox and archive it or delete it. Now you can do other things such as, you know, if you have an important message and you know there's certain keywords in the line, you can say always mark as important. So you can do this for important messages too. The key thing is here, you can use filters for a lot of different uses. And if you get advanced using filters for whatever your use case is, you can really make your email inbox a very powerful tool for you that is very efficient so you don't have to waste time going through bad emails. Now let me show you some of the other neat tricks I mentioned beforehand. Now another neat trick you can do is you can use dots and pluses to better sort your email and combine this with filters, it's very powerful. Let me show you an example. Now what you can do is you can put a dots around things and it will still send to the same email. It doesn't matter how many dots you put in it, it will still show up in your inbox. Now I use this sometimes for just, let's say I register for some program using one email, I just put a dot somewhere and it changes it around. Let me show you. So testing one, two, three, and I will click send. Now let me show you an example. I just sent the email, it had a ton of dots in it, and you'll see I received it all correctly, and it works out. Me, testing one, two, three, it got sent, it showed up in my inbox. Now let me show you another way that we could do things. So I will reply to John Robert Chris Donnie plus, and let's say I have an account with Facebook, right? Plus Facebook, at gmail.com. Now, another neat thing is that Google actually ignores the plus and anything after the plus in your email address. Particularly, I'll show you in a second, but when I automatically need to forward an email. So let's say my Facebook is managed by my community manager because many people write in support requests to me that I actually want to go to my community manager or my support person. So I'll say there and I'll say testing six, seven, eight send and again it appears right away in my inbox that's just how okay see right there so it's all working correctly now what i can do is i can set up a filter so that whenever the email is sent to let's say I register for facebook with plus facebook i can set it up to create a filter and automatically forward it I don't have any forwarding addresses in here, but I could set it to automatically forward my email to a particular address. Pretty neat. Now let me show you how to auto forward things talking about that. So to automatically forward things, as you see, we showed up on this screen a second ago. What you would actually do from the inbox is you would click this little gears icon right here, right there, where it, which is for settings. And then you'd click settings right there. Now you wanna go over to this area which says forwarding and pop IMAP. And in order to forward an email, you'd click add a forwarding address and you'd click whatever the email it is you want to forward it to. So let's say I wanted to forward it to tylerdurden at gmail.com. So I would say, okay, next. And it would say forwarding mail to tylerdurden.com. This doesn't do anything. I wanna make this clear. Nothing actually happens after you click proceed. It all comes in the next steps. This was a bit confusing for me. Now, what happens next is it says a confirmation code has been sent to tylerdurden at gmail.com to verify permission. But basically, they have to give you a confirmation code and you have to enter it. That's how it works. So you need to have it be two emails you have access to. Now, until he gives me the confirmation code and I verify it, as you see right here, I won't be able to forward emails over. But once he does, I will be able to set any filter I want to forward emails to him. This is very useful when running an organization or when you just wanna use one email account but you wanna forward certain emails to particular addresses. Really useful, saves a lot of time. I see a lot of people in a lot of companies or just entrepreneurs that have an email address at a million different websites and it's really cumbersome, you know, because people have to log into all of these different emails. 
You don't need to do that. If you're just smart with setting up filters to forward email around, you can do this very easily. And you only need to ever use one email account and you just get smart with filters and it makes your life a dream. Even if you have a spouse or a friend or a family member, you can set it up. Let's say you're going on a trip together. You can set it up so that your spouse is always receiving your credit card bills as well, or that they're getting all the trip information related to Japan or what have you. The extensibility of this is amazing. And if your mind is blown right now, type in mind blown in the comments below because I get really excited about this. And I got excited about this because Elon Musk is actually excited about this. Elon Musk is a self-proclaimed Gmail ninja, and you can be a Gmail ninja as well. And if you're beyond excited and you haven't typed in anything yet, type in Gmail ninja in the comments below. Now, the last thing I'm gonna go over is a pretty cool free way to make money with Gmail. So uh, check this out. This is actually a feature within Gmail that is totally free and it gives you an autoresponder, which is pretty neat. Now, I'll show you this real quick. Once again, under the settings icon, you wanna go under the general area right here and you will see that if you scroll down to the bottom, you will actually see a something called the vacation autoresponder, this whole section right here. What I suggest you do and what I suggest everybody do with their email is if you care about your time, or most people, I care about my time, I leave my vacation autoresponder on almost all the time. And for many of you who don't use email as much anymore or stopped, I know a lot of young people don't or I don't know, they just tick tock each other now. Keep your auto vacation autoresponder on. Now, what I do is I use this message as a way to make money. If people are gonna be emailing me, I may as well be making money from those emails being sent out and save myself time. So I say, thanks for the message. I'm currently on vacation. If you are interested in learning how to make money online, watch this entire presentation to learn how I make money. If it's urgent, call my cell. And just don't enter in your information because people who have your phone number already have your phone number. So that way, if people are sending you a message, they see that you are away on vacation and they have an affiliate link for how to make money and they know to call you on your cell if, if it's urgent. Now, how do you make money from this? How does this actually pay you anything? Now, the way this works is this link is from what's called an affiliate network. Now, what I do to earn as much as $900,000 a month in my business is something called affiliate marketing, where I'm selling other people's products. It's sort of like a deal you make with friends. You say, hey, if you send me a customer, I'll give you a little bit of that money. Cool? Cool. That's what affiliate marketing is. If you help refer customers or refer people to other people's websites, you can take a cut of the action once they become a customer. That's affiliate marketing, or it's also known as referral agreements. Now, the site I prefer to use for affiliate marketing, there's two sites that work very well. I prefer to use one of either clickbank.com or digistore24. Dot com. Now, Digistore24, as you'll see, I've made over $200,000 so far. Now, as you'll see in Digistore24, I make thousands of dollars per day as an affiliate with products. You'll see $1,000 yesterday, almost $4,000 the day before. And this is as an affiliate marketer. Now, if you want to sell my products as an affiliate, I'll give you 90% of everything you earn. It's a pretty good deal, right? I'll keep 10%, you keep 90%. And the way you would do that is you would set up an account on Digistore, the links will be in the description to sign up, and you will go over here to the marketplace once you are signed up. You can be any age to do this. You can be from any country in the world. You do not even need a bank account. All you need is an address or a credit card to work with Digistore24 and you can start earning money. Once again, any age, any country, all you need is an address or a bank account and you can start earning money. So sign up. Now, once you sign up, you will be in a screen like this. You will click on the marketplace. And once you're in the marketplace, just type in my last name. 
type in Cristani. And as you see here, you will get 90% commission for selling my book, Work at Home Secrets. Sell my book. It's great. And you put a link in your autoresponder. I'm showing you exactly how to do it and it will work out. And you can make a lot of money this way and it's recurring revenue. So each month, you'll make roughly $25 from just getting a sale once because there's a recurring subscription. I'm not gonna go into affiliate marketing or explain the sales page. If you wanna understand a little bit more about affiliate marketing, check it out. I'll have my editors post a video link where you can learn more about what is affiliate marketing and how it works. So make sure to not check this box where it says send a message only to people in your contacts. And then you just click save changes at the bottom. So don't forget that step. And Digistore, you get your link here. So you'll see the link looks like this. See, it's a redirect link, okay? It looks like it just is my site. See how the link page turns into something different? Everything works, everything works. It's called a redirect. That's how tracking works on the internet. As you'll see, we have celebrity endorsements here. We have all sorts of crazy stuff for the product. I'm not gonna explain it once again, but people who are interested in making money will likely end up buying it and it's very cheap. So you save changes and voila, you just made your inbox easier, more organized, sorted through things, got rid of stuff and you're making money. <laughs> Woo, if that is an exciting, I don't know what is. We learned four different ways of blocking emails in Gmail and we also learned filters, dots, pluses, auto forwards, best ways to make money online. Really cool stuff. Now, if you want to learn more about how to make money online, just get in there and murder that subscribe button because I'm coming out with videos every single day talking about how to set up websites, how to advertise, how to get traffic, everything you need to know. Now, I've been doing this for eight years. I've made tens of millions of dollars in my online business. I live on a two acre horse ranch in Malibu. I fly helicopters for fun. So I know what I'm doing and I'd love to take you along on the ride. I'd love to show other people how to, how to wrap their head around this business. Because I remember when I got started, it was a horrible struggle and I was frustrated and angry and I felt worthless and abandoned all this bad stuff because I was never able to make money. But you don't have to go through that and I hope my channel can help you. So. Hit the subscribe button, like this video. And if you have any questions for me or for my community, because I, I really want to encourage everybody in my community to help each other. We also have some community features going around. We have our Facebook group. We have our Discord channel if you want to chat. We have some other stuff, I think a forum and a subreddit. So get on all of that if you're interested in just learning how to make money online. Trying to build a movement here. Let's all make money together. You can do it. You are worth it. You are loved. See you in the next video.